Thank you, Train. So picking up on Zeke. Yeah, sure. For such a monumental decision, the president did address why he left the race. Well, but, thank you. But 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 he left a lot of it for us to read between the lines. He did not make clear why he's leaving the race. Even in the excerpts that you bring up. Yep. He says that you know the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. Is he saying it's because he was too old? You know, in another one, he said that <clears throat> it was for the sake of democracy. Well, that does not answer why he thought he was in the way of democracy. I mean, so yeah, why I'm did he I make this decision? A new generation, and he also said the next sentence was to unite. It's also to unite the nation. Uh, look. The president has talked about this twice, one in a letter that he addressed to the American people on Sunday, laying out a very monumental, to your point, it is, it is a monumental decision that he made, and he thought very long and hard. He also said that he's been serving this country as a public servant for more than 50 years. It is not an easy decision to make. He talked about unity, he talked about the next generation, he talked about passing the torch. I was asked in this room a couple of days, I don't know, maybe two weeks ago, all of these days are coming together, uh, that when the president ran in 2020, he talked about passing the torch. He talked about the next generation. He talked about being a bridge to the next generation. And I was asked, is that something that the president still wants to do and still cares about? And I said, yes. And so this is part of that, right? This is part of what he said in 2020. He talked about unifying the nation. He talked about unifying the party. And he believed the time was now. The time was now to step down from his reelection uh, and to move, uh, you know, to move uh, ahead with the next six months, the end of his term, and that's what he decided to do. 